everyone. Welcome to Lorraine Corbanic Fitness. I am Lorraine and today we are going to do a 30 minute back workout. The only things you need today are a set of weights and if you don't have weights, remember you can grab canned goods or frozen water bottles or regular water bottles. Just make sure they weigh the same amount. And I do have a couple of bands here. Now, if you don't have bands, that's okay. What you can do is you can just skip the two banded exercises we're going to do. Make sure you do all the rest. We're gonna be doing them three times. So you can always use that little fast forward or rewind button. Do what you need to do. We're gonna have some fun. Let's just start by warming up that back a little tiny bit. So we're gonna open up the arms, open up the chest, and then as you exhale, you're gonna rally round through the back. So it's almost like we're doing a cat cow, but standing. So we inhale as we open, we exhale as we close. Beautiful, just like that. Just open and close. Yeah. Flexion, contraction. Just want to warm up that back a little tiny bit. Beautiful job. All right. Mm. Just about ready to get started. I think I am. I'm feeling nice and warm. We'll take it easy to start with. The first couple will help to continue to warm up that back. We're gonna take those feet nice and wide. Take the arms up to shoulder height. We're gonna do 15 windmills. All right, so you're taking the right hand crossing over, touching the left toe, coming up opposite side. So as we're doing this, this is two. Make sure the belly's pulled in. Nice, strong abdominals. Beautiful, I know you're doing great. That's five, 10 more. Breathe. Standing up nice and tall in between. Yeah, this helps warm me up, right? Beautiful. This is 10. Last five. Keep breathing. We've got three more. And last two. Final one, right here. That's it, that's it. All right, shake out the shoulders. So we're gonna do that two more times. So we're gonna do one exercise, all three times together, and then we're gonna move on. All right, so just a couple seconds in between. We're just motoring on through. It's a quick 30 minute workout. So let's take those arms up to shoulder height. Remember, you can take a water break anytime you need. Pull in that belly, let's go side to side. Now don't worry too much if you can't actually touch the toes. That's just a guide, right? Everybody's different. We don't all have the same level of flexibility. That's okay. That's five. Mm, yeah, because you may have noticed you've got to do both sides to count it as one. Beautiful. Keep breathing, my friends. And remember, if you can't do the same speed as me, that's okay. Don't worry about the number. That's 10. Five more. It's just something to hang your hat on, a little gauge for how far you've come. Last three. And two. Here we go. Last one. Beautiful. Shake up the arms, shake up the legs, do what you need to do, grab some water. All right? couple seconds that's all it is I always got to pull up the pants in between all right get ready windmills number three nice and strong shoulders back and down let's go breathe yeah that's it now remember as well you never want to have your knees absolutely locked out hyper extended so try to put that little micro bend in the knees. Keep them a little bit soft. Yeah, protect those joints. Hopefully you're not getting dizzy. Stay with me. We are almost done our windmills. Keep those arms up to shoulder height. This is 10. We've got five more. Beautiful. Almost done, almost done. I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Here we go, only two more. Last one. And we're done, beautiful. Circle out those shoulders. I'm grabbing my water. 
And then we're gonna come into our bent over row. So find your weights. And we're gonna take our feet hip distance apart. So second toes are facing straight forward. <clears throat> Pull the tummy in, hinge over at the waist. Let the arms dangle straight down from the shoulders. Now pull the shoulders back into their sockets, pull the belly, the, the navel in towards the spine. And then from here on an exhale breath, we're gonna row it up to the waist. I'm getting rid of this hair so I can actually see. All right, so three sets of 15. Are you ready? I know you are, here we go. Row it in, nice and slow as you come back down to the earth. <sighs> Exhaling as you row it up. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> so this is six. Making sure as well that as you're rowing, you're just looking down at the mat or down at the ground. You're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Yeah, I like that, you gotta make that face. <laughs> Beautiful. Almost done. Last two right here. And if you want, you can let go of those weights. Circle up the shoulders, play with your hands, do whatever you gotta do, take that little tiny break. Yeah? And if you like this workout and you decide at the end, I didn't feel it enough, it wasn't enough, you know you can always do it again. And the next time, do more reps. Use heavier weights. Are you ready? Let's get into that second set. Standing up, belly in, Bending over, torsos at about a 45 degree angle. Shoulders in place. Here we go. Row it up and squeeze. <sighs> Slow inhale as you lower. Up and squeeze. Elbows go directly behind you. They're not flaring out to the side. <sighs> That's it, I know you're doing great. There's lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. Don't let the shoulders hunch up towards the ears. We don't wanna create tension there. Uh-uh. Five left. Here we go. This is four, three, two, last one. Take it out, squeeze those shoulder blades. Lovely, awesome, setting them down. About 15 seconds in between, that's all we're giving ourselves. It's a quick workout. All right, so let's get right into this. Plant those feet, pick up those weights, bend over, torsos at about a 45 degree angle. Soft bend in those knees. Three, two, one. Let's go up and squeeze. Nice and slow on the return. I love bent over rows. Yeah. Feeling strong wherever you're at. Putting your mind where the muscle is. So we're thinking about those backs, right? Yeah, feeling them work. So if my count is correct, this is eight. So we are almost done, these bent over rows. Five more after this one, let's go. Five, don't let that belly come unhinged. Pull that navel in, so much strength. Three, two, Last one, take it up and squeeze. Love it, get rid of the weights, don't need them anymore. That was our three sets. All right, we're gonna get down onto the ground for this next one. Coming into swimmers. So laying prone on the stomach, hopefully you'll be able to see me. Hi, Lucas. So take the arms up above the head. And then we're gonna, on our inhale breath, lift legs and arms, and you're just gonna go for a swim. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, lift it up and swim. And this one obviously is a little bit harder to count. You can't really count reps because you're just kind of swimming in midair. I'll let you know when you're done. <laughs> Beautiful job, everybody. This is also great for the spine. Yeah, you can probably feel that lower back, hey? Nice. And the glutes, those glutes are working. Nice deep breaths. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Now in between, if you want, you can press into those hands. Send your hips behind you. Come into a little child's pose. You'll notice that in child's pose, that back is nice and rounded. So it's just a really nice counter pose to that little back bend that we're doing when we're in swimmers. 
taking some nice deep breaths. And then we're getting right into that next set. Let's go. All right. Laying down prone. Legs are zipped up together. Not that it really matters because we're going to lift them off the ground. All right. <laughs> Arms up above the head. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Lift and swim. Yeah, beautiful. So again, you're just looking down at the mat. Keep the neck a nice long extension of your spine. Beautiful. Now, for whatever reason, this really hurts shoulders. Let's say you have a shoulder injury. You can always take your arms down here. Yeah, I prefer them in front, but you do what you got to do at this point, yeah? Whatever your body tells you, yeah, you got to listen. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze, 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 and swim. We're almost down the second set. Keep breathing, never holding the breath. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And again, maybe lowering the hands to the chest, maybe sinking it back into your child's pose. Maybe the forehead comes to the ground. Maybe you wrap the arms around the feet. Maybe you take a sip of water, which I've lost. All right, you ready for that third set? I am. I'm gonna go a little bit more on an angle so I can see you a little better. All right, are you ready folks? Arms up, hi there baby. When you're ready, inhale and lift. Oh, scared my kitty. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't forget about those legs. I know that doesn't have a lot to do with your back, but it makes it a little bit harder. And we wanna to work today, yeah? Because there's no cardio in this class. Yeah, it's all about the back. So we're just gonna throw in a couple extras here and there. So yeah, you could be swimming just with the upper body. But why not use that lower half, right? Why not? Beautiful, keep breathing, you're breathing, right? Long inhales, long exhales. Swim it out for five, four, three, two, and one, release. You can take that little break, whatever you need. Then we're gonna move on, my friends. We are gonna stay down on the ground for the next set. We're gonna come into some dips. So, <clears throat> when you're in a seated position, your feet are straight out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Take your feet together. Excuse me, plant your hands right beside your hips, right? They're not way out, right beside you. From here, you're gonna press into your hands, lift your booty off the ground. Then from there, hinge your body forward, you come up onto the soles of your feet. From here, this is where we're gonna do our dip. So you dip down, maybe your bum actually touches the ground, press it up, and then pull back. All right, so it's out, dip, up, back. Are you ready? All right, I better not start with you. Starting here, like in our L sit, sit up nice and tall. Don't collapse to the chest or the neck. Let's go. Lift up, out. We're dipping. Bring it back. That's one. Beautiful. I know you're doing great. This one's nice and slow and controlled. That's three, my friends. 15 is going to seem like a lot to some of you. So just remember, you can take that break whenever you need. That's five, we've got 10 more. Bye, Flash. Yeah, we're dipping. We're pressing it back. Beautiful. Feels so good, doesn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, look at that. Here is number 10. Yeah, keeping the chest high. Not collapsing through that neck. Only got four more. Whoop. And this is three. Two more, two more. Remember, you can always do more. You can always do less. My suggestions are merely that, merely suggestions. Now, if my count was right, that's 20. So go ahead and take the break to roll out the shoulders. Maybe you're circling out the wrists, right? If those tend to bother you, the other thing is to remember, you can always have that set of weights right here, holding onto the weights or even just being up on fists, straighten out the straightens out the wrists. Are you ready for set number two? Sure you are. So I'm gonna do this one on my fists just to show you it can be done. So right beside the hips, lift it on up. We're bringing our hips forward. Are you ready? Let's do this together. Dip it down, bring it back. 
That's one. <sighs> Just a walk in the park. That's two. Beautiful. Now the one thing about just being up on fists, as opposed to holding dumbbells, is if you have long nails, you're going to be feeling them dig into the palm. That's why I always prefer dumbbells. And I do realize that some dumbbells kind of hurt the hands as well. They've got those little ridges. So again, try a few things out, right? You won't know till you try. So now if my count is correct, that is seven. Here comes number eight, and I could be wrong. Those of you that uh, take my classes quite often or have watched a number of my classes here online know that as I get talking, sometimes the count goes out the window. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finishing strong. We've got two more. I think I should do a third one just in case because I do feel like I didn't count that one very well. So if you're done here, you're done. I'm doing one more. Beautiful. Release the tush. Circle out the hands. Do whatever you need to do to take care of them in these couple seconds worth. Whoo, there we go. Yep, you got it. All right, third set. You ready? Plant those hands. Lift that tush off the ground. Let's go forward. Dip it. Pull it back. Stay strong. It's only a half hour. You can put in a half hour. Yeah, we got this. And then of course, you're gonna wanna make sure you do a nice chest workout very soon. Maybe tomorrow, hey? Yeah, because we always wanna work that opposing muscle group. So when we work our quads, we wanna work our hammies as well. When we work our biceps, we wanna work our triceps as well. When we work our back, we wanna work our chest as well. We wanna make sure we're not out of balance. Right? We don't want to create imbalances in our body. All right, I feel like we've done 11. I'd say that's 12. Let's do three more. It's not easy counting and talking at the same time. All right, let's do one more right here. Dip it, bring it back. Take care of those hands, those shoulders. All right, we get better get motoring, right? Okay. We are going to get into a banded seated row. Actually, no, let's not do that yet because I want to make sure that those of you that don't have bands get one more little treat. And that's a scapular push-up. So a scapular push-up is not a full push-up. We're going to get our hands shoulder distance apart, we're going to get ourselves in our regular push-up position. Nice and strong, right? Shoulders back, belly pulled in, feet pressing backwards. I can turn just a little tiny bit this way so you can see a bit better. Now from here, you're just gonna let the shoulders dip down, not the belly, see the difference? So I'm not dripping the belly down, I'm dropping the shoulders, pressing them back up. Scapular push-up, all right? Now remember, you could be on knees if you're finding it difficult, and you can still do your scapular push-up like that. Are we ready? We're doing 15, friends. Here we go. Sink it down, press it up. Breathe. I like to exhale as I press away from the earth. That's five. All right, here comes number 10, everybody. Don't forget about those precious elbows. They are not locked right out. There is a tiny little bend. We call that a micro bend. All right, here comes that last one. Press it up, release the knees, circle out wrists and shoulders. Ooh, there goes that light. All right, so we're gonna do two more sets of those. Maybe you wanna do full push-ups. Go for it. Today we're just working on that back. Particularly, these are great for that upper back. So getting into position, maybe dropping the knees if you need, not dropping them if you wanna go full bore. And remember, we're not dipping our head. Are you ready? Here we go, drop it down, press it up. Body is staying nice and strong and straight. That's five, my friends. So again, let the shoulders dip into the body. Make sure you're not dripping the head. Dripping, dipping the head. I think that's eight. Ten. Stay with me. It's just a little move. I know this will be new for some of you. 
Hopefully you'll do it more than once. Last one, drop the knees, take care of the shoulders, take care of those wrists, rolling them out. Maybe pulling the palms back, whatever you need before we get started on this third and final set. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready? If you're not, press pause. <laughs> all right, plant those hands wide, spread those fingertips, take those feet behind you. Are you ready? Pull that navel in, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Let's go, dip it down, press it up. Keep pressing through those heels. Sometimes my elbows want to bend and I want to do a full push up. My body has muscle memory and I got to keep telling it, nope, these are scapular push ups. Just that little tiny move. Beautiful, my body's shaking, my upper body, those arms. So, yes, we're working into those arms as well. Coming up to the final four. Three, two, and one. You did it. Roll out those shoulders. High five your friend if there's someone here doing the workout with you. Pat yourself on the back. That back, that's what we're working. All right, so now we're gonna grab those bands. So if you don't have bands, this is where you're gonna press that button, take it on back, do those first four or five exercises that we did, do them again. Those of you that have bands, awesome. And by the way, if you don't have bands, you can get them on Amazon, super cheap. They usually come in packs of three with a heavy, um, a medium, and a light depending on the brand. We're gonna take the band right around the arches of the feet and the other end of the band in your hands. Extend those legs nice and long like we were before. We're in staff pose here. Feet are flexed, so toes are pointing back towards the nose. From here, we're gonna row that band in towards the belly. Elbows go back and behind you. Don't flare them out. Keep the shoulders soft away from the ears. Three sets of 15. Are you ready? Pull that navel in. Everything's strong here. Ready? Let's go. Pull it in. Squeeze. Nice and slow as you bring it back. Never letting it out of your control. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in and squeeze. <sighs> so for my money, I like to use my strong band here. I really want to feel this in the shoulders and the upper back. I think that's eight. Here we go. Nine. Sometimes I think I should just not talk at all and just count. But that would be no fun at all. I wanna make sure you're doing it correctly. All right, I think we've got four, three, nice and slow and controlled. Two, let's do one more right here, right in, mm, and release. Just a couple seconds break in between. Remember, if you need longer, you're in control. You can press that pause button. All right, here we go. Shoulders away from the ears. Set number two, pull it in and squeeze. Chest stays wide. My shoulders are not rolling in towards one another. Yeah, feels good, nice and strong. Make sure that you're not thrusting the chin forward either. Keep lifting up through the crown of the head. Keep flexing through those feet. We're almost done this set. Mm. Squeeze. One more after this. Come on, finish it off with me. Mm. And release. All right, one more set after this. A couple different kind of rows here. We did one with the dumbbells, one with the band. They're fantastic. All right, you ready for set number three? Let's do this together, shall we? Here we go. Exhale in and squeeze. Notice that your upper body is sitting up nice and straight. You're not leaning forward. You're not leaning back. That's four. Five. Breathe. You got this, my friends. You got this. It's been so nice doing this workout with you. All right, here comes number 10. Ooh, five more, let's go. Last four. Mm. Count them out with me. This is three, two, one more, my friends, one more, let's go. Ooh, wonderful, let go of that band, roll up the shoulders, do what you gotta do, maybe you need that quick sip of water. We're gonna do one more. 
All right. So banded lat pull downs. You can do these standing. You can do these on your knees. Whatever floats your boats, my friend, friends. So we're gonna take the band along outside of the wrists here. Not outside of the wrists, around the wrists. So from here, I'm just gonna stay on my knees. You're gonna let the band up above the head. From here, you're gonna pull the band outward, getting that resistance, and bring it right down, right in front of the nose, down to the collarbone. As you come up, you're going with control, nice and slow, like that. So I'm gonna show you how not to do it. Don't bring it down, and then boing, it back up, stay in control. Are you ready? Pull that belly in. Here we go, pull it down. Slow and controlled on the way up. Exhale, pull it down. Inhale, let it rise up nice and slow. You might wanna bring, make fists if that helps you, if it feels stronger, uh, more stable. <sighs> like that, yeah, you got it. I almost think I should have done these first. These are always very, mm, these are challenging. It's good to have a challenge, isn't it? Beautiful, stay with me. Now you can know you, know you can always do uh, less if it's just too taxing. You don't have to do all 15. We're almost done this first set, my friends. Then we've got two more and then we are done. Beautiful, let's do three more, three more. Pull it. Beautiful, last two. Final one, let's go, pull it down. Mm. Slow and controlled, stay in control, then release it. All right, now did you feel it in the shoulders? Of course you did, it's definitely shoulders as well. Some people feel it more anterior in the anterior deltoid, I feel it more on the lateral deltoid, the outside, the, the side rather than the back. Um, everybody's different. But hopefully it's also working that upper back. Put your mind where your muscle is. All right, are you ready? Next two sets, let's do this. All right, let's get that band right around the wrists. Lift the arms up overhead. Here we go, exhale. Come all the way down. Try not to arch the back here. Sometimes the tendency is to let the back arch in an effort to make it easier. We're not in for easier. We're in for strength and growth and toning. Yeah, I had a couple of you get a hold of me and say, ah, back that, what the heck? So we're just gonna work on that. Beautiful. This is seven. Yeah, slow and controlled. Eight, bringing it right down to that collarbone. Oh, I'm feeling it, folks. Here we go, this is 10. Five more, got it? Sure we do. Five. This uh, video may be a tiny bit longer than 30 minutes. I'm looking at my clock now. But I wanted to make sure we got in lots of variety. All right, all right. I can't remember if we have one more or two more. Mm, we're gonna do one more for good measure, right? All right, that might have been 15, but let's do ah, one more. Beautiful, release. We've got one more set, my friends. And remember, if it gets too much, you might have two bands, so go ahead and grab a lighter band. So this is my gray band, it's my medium, and that's okay. Maybe you're grabbing a light one. Maybe you're not using it at all. Maybe you just wanna go through the motions. That's okay, getting your body ready to learn how to do this with the resistance bands. Okay, this one's gonna be a tough one. It's number three, and then we're out of here. Let's get it around those wrists. Lift the arms up overhead. Those uh, biceps are right beside the ear. They're not in front. All right, let's go, my friends. Exhale, bring it down. Deep breaths. That's two. Yeah, I know you're counting now, right? Because you just can't wait for this to be over. And that's okay. We're just gonna get it going. We're gonna go all the way to the end. Stay with me, stay with me. I know you can do this. This is five. If you have to take off that band, take off that band. I don't know if you can see, but this right hand of mine is shaking like crazy, shaking like a leaf. My whole body's saying, oh yeah, you've worked me. Yes, you have. <sighs> Breathe. This is eight. Soften those shorter shoulders. They come all the way down with you, don't they? Yeah, they do. Don't leave them up around the ears. You got this. You got it. Here we go. This is 10. <sighs> Five more, tell yourself you can do this. 
Last four. I'm laughing at my hands. They've got a mind of their own. I'm gonna make fists now because they're really shaking. Last three. Two more. Yeah, now I'm feeling nice and warm. It's almost like we did cardio. Here we go, folks. Last one. Make it count. Good stuff, hey? All the way up. Release the band. You are done. Open up the arms behind you. Open up the chest. That's creating a little bit of compression in the back. And then wrapping the arms in front of you. Take one arm over top. We're going to let the hands find the back, those shoulder blades, and then walk them back until they yeah, nice and tight and then dip the chin. Just getting a nice little hug here. If you wanna be down on your heels, you can be there. Really press through the upper back, feel the shoulder blades separating. Staying here for as long as feels good for you here. And then of course, when you're ready, inhale, open up the arms. Put the opposite arm on top this time. Ooh, hug number two. It's the best stretch for the back, I know. Well, it's one of the best. <laughs> Little hug, press through the upper back. Press, press, press. Remember to hug yourself several times throughout today. And if you're fe really feeling in the shoulders, you can always do a couple of those old fashioned bicep stretches, but I'm gonna let you go because I know it's been 30 minutes. So please have a brilliant day. Come back here as often as you like. Make sure you stay tuned and watch for that chest workout. Bye everybody.